Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick until the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 7 to the power of x is equal to 70. So, I obviously want to find the value of x. So for my solution here, first start with 7 to the power of x is equal to 70. And now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 7 to the power of x is equal to log 7. Now an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this is actually going to equal b times log a. And this property is actually really important because this changes an exponent into an actual term. And look at this problem. Right now, x is an exponent. And it's really hard to solve for x because x is going to be a decimal. 7 to the power of 1, this is equal to 7. 7 to the power of 2, this is equal to 49. And 7 to the power of 3, this is going to equal 49 times 7, which is, I'll do it right here. 9 times 7 is 63. 7 times 4 is 28. And 28 times 6 is 34. So I have 343. So as you can see, the value of x is going to be somewhere in between 2 and 3, because it's going to be in between 49 and 343. So, this property is really useful because now, once we change x to an actual term, it's going to be much simpler to solve for. Alright, so now going back to the problem, log 7 to the power of x is equal to log 7. Now, I can go ahead and move x into the front, so now I have x times log 7 is equal to log 7. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by log 7. So then these two cancel out, and I'm left with x is equal to log 70 over log 7. Now log 70, we can rewrite as log 7 times 10. Now I have this over log 7. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is the same thing as log a plus log b. So log 7 times 10, this is going to equal log 7 plus log 10. And I have this over log 7. Now the value of log 10 is simply equal to 1. So now I have log 7 plus 1 over log 7. Now this can simply be written as log 7 over log 7 plus 1 over log 7. And log 7 over log 7, these two cancel out. So I'm left with x is equal to 1 plus 1 over log 7. Now, to get the value of log 7, you can actually use a calculator. So log 7, this is equal to approximately 0 0.845. So now, 1 divided by 0 0.845, that is going to equal 1.183. So now, 1 plus 1.183 is equal to 2.183, so x is equal to 2.183. This is my answer. Alright, so I have x to the power of 3 plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, negative 2 here, this is the same thing as negative 1 minus 1. Because a negative minus a negative, you simply add these two numbers together and you can just keep the negative sign. So I'm going to replace negative 2 with negative 1 minus 1. So now I have x to the power of 3 plus x minus 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, if I switch the order of x and negative 1, I get x to the power of 3 
minus 1 plus x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now 1 here, this is the same thing as 1 to the power of 3. So if x to the power of 3 minus 1 to the power of 3 plus x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is the same thing as a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. So x to the power of 3 minus 1 to the power of 3, this is going to equal a minus b. So x minus 1 times a squared x squared plus x plus b squared, so 1 squared, which is 1. So now I have x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1 plus x minus 1 is equal to 0. So now if I factor out x minus 1 from this, I get x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1 plus 1. Now, if I add these two together, I get x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1 plus 1, which is plus 2, is equal to 0. So now, this gives me two equations. I have x minus 1 is equal to 0, and I have x squared plus x plus 2 is equal to 0. So for x minus 1 equals 0, all I have to do is add 1 on both sides. These two cancel out, and I have x is equal to 1. Now, for x squared plus x plus 2 equals 0, to solve this, I'm going to be using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, and c is equal to 2. So I have negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 2 all over 2 times a, which is 1. Now I have negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared is 1, so 1, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, all over 2 times 1 is 2. And as you can see here, 1 minus 8 is equal to negative 7. So, and the square root of negative 7, well, you can't take the square root of a negative number, meaning this has no solution. So our only solution to this problem is x equals 1.